Welcome to How to Become Zuck, Book One, A Day in the Life of a Software Engineer. You know, coding can be soothing, coding can be, you know, entirely relaxing, coding is, is exhilarating at the same time. You, you know, when you manage to solve a problem that you hadn't solved in a long time, or you, you hit that moment where the, the product comes out and you're like, this, this is what I've been working on, and this is what I've built, um, it's, it's a great feeling, and, uh, you know, it has no comparison to me. This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly. I need to tell you about my friend. My friend dreamed about being a video game tester for years. I mean, he just wasn't a great gamer. He saw gaming as a whole new artistic medium. Gaming was in his bones, and he just knew that a career in gaming was his calling. But he faced rejection for two years from every studio he applied to. Finally, after more rejections than he cared to admit, his dogged persistence paid off, and he was hired as a video game tester full time. And then after three months, he quit. Why? Because my friend was delusional. He was more into the idea of being a game tester rather than the reality of it. You see, my friends, if you're doing your job correctly as a game tester, you are not poning noobs in Call of Duty or spending 40 hours a week getting paid to level up your new paladin. No. Video game testing sucks the fun out of gaming. It's tedious, repetitive, and boring. Not that there's not many great things about being a video game tester. It's an important role, and many people use it as a stepping stone into the gaming design industry. But my friend was clueless to all that, and set himself up for some major disappointment. So here at How to Become Zuck, we are going to inform you about the good, the bad, and the myths of a career in code in general. We do all of that by speaking to developers from Google, Facebook, Tumblr, small startups, independent app developers, all to give you this. Communications, documentation, debugging, testing, agile activities, and even code reviews. Is a career in code really for you? At what point did all these successful engineers, did the penny drop for them and they decide, yes, this is my calling? What qualities are consistent among the best developers? Do you have those qualities? And if not, can you acquire them? What do developers actually make these days? All right, so pull up a seat, let's get started and find out if this is for you. First up, we speak to developers and ask them how they knew that this was their calling and what do they actually love about programming. Thank you.